Greetings, cultists, and welcome back. Greetings, cultists, and welcome back to Let's Play Underhand. I apologize for uh, that little hiccup at the beginning of the video. Uh, the recording software is having a couple of issues. Uh, it's also why I'm kind of here in the middle of the screen instead of back at the original play screen. Anyway, uh, we get to choose four blessings, up to four blessings. Which is okay, that's the most we can have. Uh, and now we're going to try to summon JT the Jasmine Dragon. And here we go. Rumors of Darkness. Nope, we already did that. Fishing trip. Not contemplating going there. I'm wondering whether or not to just grab the extra food, and I'd say not because we're not likely to need food. Bring your trial to work day. Okay, so we can... Yeah, I'd say indoctrinate them. Could go for the money. Depends. All right, so now we're going to have to keep the assets and try to hold on to this relic for the whole game. If we lose the relic, then at the point at which we could summon JT, we could instead sell the business to JT in exchange for a relic and need to do the whole thing over again. I've needed to do that in the past, and man, was it annoying. <laughs> Wandering children. Don't need them yet. Day job. I'm going to work because, as you can imagine, uh, needing as a as our new business, it's going to require some money to invest. So let's know that we have the day job. Aeromancy. Being that has its advantages. Pray for rain. About to need to get rid of a whole lot of suspicion. And that is why we go for Kekujira before going for JT. Open the small storefront. One money and one cultist, but we're getting a bit of attention because we have a storefront. Tasting the future. No thanks. And tax break. Wow, that's an awful lot of money flowing into us. Okay. Ancestor again. Looks like there's a 100 percent chance of rain for the next week straight. I'm as disappointed as any of you to see the sun going, but <laughs> cultists, I guess. Well, at least the farmers will be happy. Okay, we are getting absolutely resource flooded right now. Tax day, here we go. Slim down to so spend four money each turn. Do this just to slim down. All right, auction for relic. Uh, you just get absolutely flooded with money, which kind of might be happening. So it's nice to know we have the option just in case. Dizzy, go ahead and let the cultists die. Doubt it'll be. Such a massive issue. Well, I guess now that it's nine, sure. Let's try gaining the second relic. Hopefully, we won't regret that. Save the slaughter for another day, and I'll just hope not to get infestation. Actually, that might be hoping a little much. That might be a bit of. Uh, okay, we're fine. Ah, uh, do I want to go for the charitable donation? No, and actually, I should have gone for. Okay, yeah, so. Well. Yeah, so I might run into a bit of trouble here, as I want to end each round with four money. Uh, okay, so I can just gain a money here, because I'll need to spend two on the upcoming stages of JT. I'll go for the shopping trip, because if we get decay and rot from the Necronomicon, I don't want that to require cannibalism. And rot makes you lose half your food around you. All right. So we'll get rid of half our suspicion around it up and insert storm into the deck. Okay, okay, fine, fine. That gets us down to 13 resources. Um, ancestor 
character, Take of the great faith, followers discover the hypocrisy, no deal with that. Go for the day job. I do not want to go for wandering children just yet. Rival cult, no need. Yeah, let's go for this and hope it doesn't. Okay. Alright, yeah, normally this, I think, requires you to lose half your cultists rounded up or something like that. But we have no cultists, so that's gonna be fine. Stay discreet just so that we don't flood. Knowledge comes at a hideous price, we lose one money. And that could give us trouble again. Again, we get Heretic of the Great. The Ancestors have not been kind to us this run. Yeah, let's do this so that when the storm comes... Oh, wait, that could cause us a whole lot of trouble, come to think of it. More important things to do. Organ harvest for money. Just in case we run into some trouble. Because now we've just got so much suspicion we could kind of be in trouble here. Uh, okay, good. Let's work for the money. Disease does nothing. At this point, I'm going to want to use necromancy if I can get the chance. Alright, this is going to look a little crazy. Reinvest the fortune. See it... Uh, we pay two money to get two suspicion. It does not. It did not progress to the next stage. I don't think because I think I want to say this is the second time. And now we're just asking for a police raid. There we go. Police raid. Lose three money. Lose half our suspicion. Round it up. Bribe them to leave us alone. And there will be a radio event about that. Oh, look, we got money back. Okay. Baiting, because usually, usually, the, news. This evening, there we go. the best way of dealing with the police raid. There we go. Yeah, normally the best way of dealing with a police raid is to use two cultists to get rid of them. Uh, but when you have disease on the field, that might not be the best option. But now that we have the rain coming in, it's Unlikely that we'll get a police raid particularly soon. Tired all the time. Feeling dead on your feet. What's so bad? Yeah, I'm gonna need the money because again, I want to end on four money. Two for taxes. Yeah, 
Precisely. Now, the one thing that could be really wrong here... We already saw disease. Let's do this. Let's deliberately trigger this. So that... Yeah, I don't think we've seen Tax Day yet. You might be wondering why I'm not uh, going for getting rid of the suspicion off of charitable donation. It's just I haven't really had a good way of gaining the extra money or food to get rid of it with. Uh, this time I might. I'm going to say that I also have tax break somewhere in the deck, I, unless I'm confusing using this game for a previously played game. Uh, there's Tax Day. And we have Tax Break. Try some kidnapping instead because I will need the occasional personnel. One thing I will mention uh, again about uh, right now. So, looking at the progression for the God Event Chain, I should have mentioned this as soon as it came up. We were already on stage three out of four. Just because we pick the best option does not mean it will progress to stage four. If it does, we win the game on the spot because we have the relic to do it, to use it. If not, then we would incur three suspicion if we already had two suspicion. Unless we chose the option that could risk having to go back down, but yeah. There we go, we got lucky. JT the Jasmine Dragon. Offer it. Our finest brew in a sacred vessel. So again, we got really, really lucky here. I've found that only happens about a third of the time when you're on stage two that you'll progress to stage three, and only about a third of the time when you're on stage three that you'll progress to stage four. Here, it only took two attempts at stage two and one attempt at stage three for us to uh, progress, so... Some of these I don't know, maybe stage 3 and stage 4 is ha more like half the time. I feel like I don't get stuck on that stage quite as often. But you get the idea. It requires a lot of luck. We got really, really lucky there. Uh, and there we go. So that completes the second tier of deities. Uh, and JT, in my opinion, actually has the most useless blessings. Uh, there's assassination, which can be okay. It can get rid of three suspicion if you need it to, or I think it can also gain you money uh, at the cost of losing one cultist. And there's importing tea, uh, where you pay two money and then you can either get, so that depending on the tea that you get, uh, it'll either get you money, uh, the option for money or food, or sometimes you can get a relic out of it because sometimes the tea is just that great. Uh, what you don't have is the option to do nothing when you get the tea coming in. So it can act as force draw, which can activate greed, so it's a little bit dangerous. 
Uh, if you're forced to discard your relic early and you need it, it can get you a shot at a relic. Otherwise, uh, in my opinion, you're best off just not using the kit. Anyway, that handles the uh, middle tier. Next up, Yakari and Deluxe. And uh, personally, I find it easier to go through Yakari first because one of Yakari's blessings is really. Both of Yakari's blessings actually can be really, really useful. Uh, I think that Yakari's blessings are arguably the best in the game. Uh, whereas Ulutsi has one really good blessing and one really useless one. Anyway, uh, later cultists, and I'll see you in stage three.